Hidalgo County did not get as much rain, but they are still dealing with flooded streets from the previous rain. CBS 4's Ashley Custer is live north of Westico in Hidalgo County with the latest Ashley. Now we're here on Yvette Circle, which is obviously one of the several streets that are still affected by the rain from the previous or at least this past weekend. And there's still quite a bit of water on the street, so it makes it a little bit difficult for residents to be able to go to and from their homes. We also got a little bit of rain this morning, and all this wet weather isn't exactly helping with current pumping operations in the precinct, but it's also making residents feel a little uneasy. The fact that it was raining again this morning, when you saw the rain, tell me what you were thinking that it was going to get worse and worse. Here UB has lived on this street for the last eight years and says this is not the first time it's flooded and explains it's very inconvenient. It's very difficult. We're, in, we're only just in a truck and my sisters and I working, right? So my mom and my dad, it's like taking us to work and the, the carts, they are. She says her family is down to only one vehicle, an SUV, because others just won't make it through the flooded street. It's why Precinct 1 says those pumps aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Operations will continue until the job is done. Well, we just don't want people to suffer, you know, some uh, flood like they, like they did um, during the weekend. So uh, we will be ready and prepared, and uh, we're just going to wait till everything is cleared out and ready to go, and then... Uh, then we'll start uh, removing the pumps. But in the meantime, the county is asking residents to be patient. And we are going to continue after this rains. I know there's going to be some major problems with mosquitoes. There's going to be problems with potholes. And we'll be addressing all those problems. We'll have extra equipment spraying for mosquitoes. So if anybody's got a serious problem of either potholes or, or mosquitoes, feel free to call and we'll try it and uh, assist them as quick as we can. Now for those living in Precinct 1, sandbag distribution has been extended. Keep in mind that they just, stopped, they just stopped giving out sandbags a few minutes ago, but they will be reopening tomorrow at 7 a.m. and they will be handing out those sandbags until about noon. Now there are also going to be several closures tonight in Precinct 1 as far as the roads go. Now Milano Road between mile 6 and 7 north will remain closed. Mile 7 north between FM 491 and 1425 and also, mile one and a half west and mile 10 and 11 north. Now, if you are experiencing any flooding trouble or just water on your street like this in Precinct 1, you can contact crews by dialing 968-8733. For now, in Hidalgo County, I'm Ashley Custer, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.